The eruption of Kilauea volcano on Hawaii Island continued on Tuesday morning with all lava confined to the summit caldero within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports no unusual activity along the rift zones and the volcano alert level remains at watch. During Monday helicopter overflight, geologists were able to record the necessary data to produce new maps showing the ongoing changes at the summit. This map showing an overview with new lava shown in red. And this thermal map shows lava temperatures from blue to red, with red colors indicative of warmer temperatures. Unlike the previous eruptions following the 2018 caldera collapse, this time fissures have opened outside of the crater on the downdrop block. The easternmost vents on the drop block, as well as the westernmost vents in the crater, became inactive on Monday. The vents that are still active now span half a mile or 750 meters and are feeding channelized lava flows onto the crater floor. Scientists say effusion rates appear down from initial eruptive rates. Lava found heights remain about 10 to 15 meters or 32 to 50 feet high Tuesday morning. Geologists note that there has been nearly 5 meters or 16 feet of uplift at the crater since the eruption started, which shows a significant amount of lava has intruded beneath the pre-existing crust. A sulfur dioxide emission rate of 49,000 tons per day was measured Monday afternoon. This is down significantly from the 190,000 tons per day measured just after the eruption began on Sunday. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park reported the closure of the Kaanakakoe viewing area on Monday due to high concentrations of SO2 and volcanic particulates. Park officials say the location will remain closed until it is safe to reopen. Other viewing areas, like those at Uli Kahuna, Kilauea Overlook, and areas along Crater Rim Trail, remain open to the public.